Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley, and today we're going to learn how to publish websites directly from Sketch using Launchpad, a new plugin from the Anima team. For today's practice, I prepared a file, and with this file, we're going to publish a website, create links between artboards, between pages, and also we're going to add different responsive breakpoints for all those pages. It goes from desktop all the way to mobile. And also we're going to uh, add hover effects. Pretty awesome. And also we're going to create a form, a basic form where you enter a name and an email and add a video, just a video, a video frame. And then at the end, we're going to preview it on the browser. Pretty cool stuff. I have a link to download this file on the description. And that's it, let's get started. Okay, so if you haven't installed this plugin, just go to the website loungepath.animaapp.com and you will be able to just like see all the things that this plugin does. Just go to start free, you download the plugin, go through the whole thing about like double clicking, installing, and then you, you should be able to see it. Once you have the plugin installed, you will be able to see it down here as here on your inspector you're going to see here anima app and then the lounge pad part of it is going to be this part this is what we're going to be using today all the tools are here and then you also have it here on your plugins and then all the way to the bottom here lounge pad by anima so today i have as you can see i have a big file with uh two pages and different breakpoints this is one page this is another page and then i have also a form over here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be publishing a website from Sketch. We're going to add breakpoints. We're going to add links between pages. We're going to add a form element. We're going to add a video element. We're going to add a hover effect and then preview the site. Just, as, uh, just so you can see what, what, what is going on here, I just added one artboard with all the styles, have the, the, the colors that I'm using, and also all the different um, textiles that I'm using. This is, uh, this is like a landing page for uh, a cooking app. I don't know, I, I was just playing around with ideas. And this is, uh, it's, called, <laughs> it's called Chef Guevara. <laughs> Get it, Jeff? Give out. Oh, idiot! This is a homepage. Uh, have some recipes. There's some, an article, and then a, a CTA at the end. And all of this is in, is done on different breaking points. So I have a 1024 version. I have a 768 version and a 320 version. I jumped the, from 768 to 521. Uh, I didn't do that one, but uh, if you want to do it, you can do it yourself. And also from here, we're going to add a link that this goes to the about page here. And the about page is over here. It's just a big article. It has an image on the top, has a uh, text, and then it, it's also done on the different breakpoints, 1024, 768, 320. Pretty basic stuff. And then also we're adding a form. When you s click on this, uh, let's get cooking. I want to go to a form. And this form has here, and I also have uh, an error state, uh, an ARPA for the error state, and I have one for the success state. So I made these in uh, 320. That way I don't have to create breakpoints. It's just a form, so why make them in, in different breakpoints? It just works for mobile. It, it works great. So I have everything ready. Let's start by adding the breakpoints. So I'm going to zoom in here. This is going to be my main page, and I'm going to say here on the Launchpad menu, I'm going to go to this one where you can see uh, a screen and a mobile. And here, just you click on it, and then you point to a different breakpoint of this same page. So this one, this is going to be a breakpoint. I click again, and this is going to be a, a, a breakpoint. By the way, I have this artboard selected. I have this artboard selected, and that's, that's how I am able to do this. I'm going to add the last breakpoint. I'm going to click again. And then I'm going to say, this is the, the, the last breakpoint. So this page has this breakpoint, this breakpoint, and this breakpoint now. I'm going to do the same for the about page. I'm going to say that this, this is a breakpoint, this is another breakpoint for 768, and one for 320. We have the breakpoints. And now uh, I want to add a link. This is uh, create a link, this little button. Create link, and then I'm going to, the first thing I want to do is set this as a home page just in case it doesn't open as a homepage. But now I want to select this text 
to create a link. So I'm going to say that when you click on that, I'm going to say that I'm going to click on the uh, link button, and then I'm going to say that from there, it takes me here. And then I'm going to do the same for all the other uh, about links. Yes, you have to do this for all the different breakpoints, which is kind of annoying, but that's the way you have to do it here. And now I'm going to say that from here, it takes me back to the home page. I'm going to select the logo, <coughs> click on this. Apparently, I already had one. It takes me back here. This one takes me back here. This one takes me. Oh, actually, it should take me back to this one. It should take me back to this. This is the home page. This one takes me back here and this one should take me back to this one because this is the main page in this all of these are the breakpoints of this main page now I created the links I added the breakpoints I'm going to add a hover effect to all of these I want to have these buttons I want to select multi select all of these buttons and then over here there's a hover effect button add hover effect I click on it and then here you can have different versions, different animations that you can add to this button. There's grow, shrink. You can preview it when you hover, shadow, glow, rotate. I'm going to go ahead and add grow as my hover effect. It can also transform here. I can say that 1.1, 1 1.5, whatever I want, and also the duration and see, see what kind of curve on the animation I want. I'm going to just use ease in and out, and I'm going to save it. Just as the default, we're good. I have that. And I'm going to also say that this, when I click on that, it takes me to this one. I'm going to do the same with this link. It takes me to this. This one takes me to this. I wish there was a way to just create that link once. Uh, hopefully, in the next updates, you are able to do that, uh, create templates or something like that. Uh, so, And then from here, I also want that all of these take me back to the home page. So this one takes me back to the home page. The error state takes me back to the home page too. If I click on the logo, this takes me back to the home page too. I can start adding forms here. So I'm going to say that this is a form element, that this is an input form. So here on this little uh, uh, cube, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to say that this is a form, this is a text input one at a time. So I'm going to say form, this is a, text input all these are text inputs text input again I wish I was able to do this all at once but you aren't able to do that and now I'm going to say that this is from the forms this is a submit button here in the button and, and here is what you said when this form is filled where do you want all this information to be sent to you can also add a spreadsheet if you want to but for now I'm just going to say that it goes to an email it's going to go to my email and also, I want to say that on success, this should go to the form success. It should go to this one. This one, the same. Edit. And I want to say that on success, it shows this artboard, the one that says success. Save. And then over here, I want this button to take me back to the homepage. So I'm just going to add a link that takes me back to the homepage. There you go. I think we're ready to, to preview this. So <coughs> I'm... Once you're ready to preview it on the browser, you want to click on this little uh, rocket icon. So I'm going to click on it. It says preview the website. Okay. And then it starts processing all the images, all the stuff. It takes it takes some, some time. It's just like it has to be uploaded to the cloud. So let's wait a little bit. Okay, so now it has been uploaded, and now we can preview it on the browser. So here, you have the option to publish it. Publishing actually publishes the website and is viewed by anyone else. But here, if I press an open, it will just preview it on the browser. So I'm just going to go ahead and open. It opens the browser, and there you go. You, we have here, or the sign, this is the browser. I can select this, as you can see, this is on Chrome. I have my hover effect here. Uh, this didn't align perfectly. I can fix it later. Uh, everything's here. Let's see the breakpoints if they're working. Start making it smaller and see how the breakpoints are working perfectly. 
here apparently I didn't align this perfectly probably that's my design but if I move down you see everything here everything is looking good let's see if I when I click on about what happens I click on about and it goes to this page loads this other page everything's looking good let's see the breakpoints if they're working breakpoints apparently this breakpoint is not working great but I can go ahead and fix it if I want to uh, all of this, you want to do a lot of trial and error, just see, oh, okay, so probably you need to align it differently, probably you need to pin it, so try uh, different things until you get it right. So, okay, let's go back to the first homepage, and let's see if our form is working. So I'm going to click on this, and then it opens the form, and here in the form, I'm going to say Papsicle, and then I'm going to add Pablo at gmail.com. That's not my email, but let's just add that. And then, yes, I'm going to join the newsletter. It goes to the success page. And then I can just go back to the home page and it takes me back here. So <laughs> there you go. Everything was done here from Sketch. We we're able to pulp put it on the browser and if we want to pu publish it we can publish it we just have to go to the premium and we can even add our own domain name uh, this is this is pretty cool this is just like a, a, a very easy way to create a simple landing page or a simple website and if you need to update it you just need to update your sketch file and then publish it again uh, pretty pretty cool powerful stuff so that's it. Another feature that we can do is add a video. So I'm going to go ahead and add a video here, uh, a video player. Oh, I'm going to actually copy this, a link from this video from Binging with Babish from uh, Bob's Burgers uh, recipe. Pretty cool. So I'm just going to copy that link and I'm going to say, to dismiss this, and I'm going to say that this is actually a video. So over here on the lounge pad in the cube, I'm going to say here, this is a video player. Just going to enter the link of that video. I'm going to save it. I'm going to do the same with this one. This is a video player. This is a video player too. Okay, we have it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and publish it again here on the lounge uh, icon. We have everything. We have our video. We uh, I updated the text fields. So I'm going to go and go. And then the only thing here is that I wish that I was able to just update certain parts of my design. But here you have to update the whole project. So hopefully in the next updates, we get to do that where you just update one artboard, for example. Okay, so we're ready with our update. Before we preview uh, the website, I just want to show you here that you can make any uh, website premium but just click it on this one and then you go through the whole process of adding your own free domain or cr checking your own f your own domain and adding it here all this stuff all the meta tags the different versions uh or if it's just a free website so look into that stuff if if it's if this is something that you really like and you think it will work for you this is how you do it so i'm going to go ahead and just preview it and let's see if the video player is working now. I'm going to go to the home page. There you go. I'm in the home page. The, the video is right there. I could just preview it. It's right there. It's awesome. This is so cool. Uh, so here, it, it just it looks just like a normal website, right? Uh, I just like go ahead and play with the breakpoints. Everything's looking nice on the mobile version. Everything's looking nice too. I even have the ability to add animations like this on hover effects. This is really cool stuff. So be sure to check it out. Also check out here how to uh, manage your websites. Here on this button, you can start the manager and you can manage all the websites that you have published. And if you want to make any of them premium, you can go ahead and manage it. And then here, you just go through all the stuff, the steps for that. Okay, so that's it. You can download a link for this uh, file if you want to preview it and play around with it. And hopefully you like this. So while I was recording this video, uh, there was an update on the plugin. Uh, they just introduce widgets. So I decided to include it in this video too. Uh, 
Uh, as you can see, this is a totally different day. <laughs> and now I just came back to, to actually record this. This is about widgets, and widgets means that you can add different elements from different websites like MailChimp, uh, Google Maps, uh, users, Pinterest. Uh, there's a whole article of the, that shows the widgets list. I'm going to add a link to this. And as a demo, we're just going to add a map to our website. So over here, let's go back to our site. Also, oh yeah, before that, they added a minimize button. Look at this. <laughs> Much needed minimize button because sometimes it can be a little bit annoying to have that panel there. So let's add a, a map. Let's add a widget of a map. And I'm just going to add it here on the big desktop version, just just for a demo. Oops, sorry, I don't want that. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to add the map here. So I'm just going to add a rectangle. Uh, 10 columns, which will be 968. And then around there, let's say that There you go. So now I have this rectangle and I can go over here to Launchpad and then here it has a new thing called widget. So before that, I need to go and actually graph the code for the widget. The widget works with an iframe that is created by Pinterest, by uh, MailChimp, or for ex in this example, by Google Maps. So here I have an address already here, uh, it's the address of my office. And then I hear there's a button that says share. And here on share, you can share the link. You can also embed the map. And here it gives you a preview of the map here on Google Maps. Uh, and I can just, uh, I'm going to make it, uh, I'm going to copy this. This is the iframe. And then going to go over here to, uh, to my sketch file. And I'm just going to go here to the widget. And then I'm going to add that map here. So I'm going to select Google Maps from here and I'm going to paste the code here. <laughs> there you go. And 968 is going to be the width. Just edit the code here. So it's 968. I save it and then it creates a preview for you. There you go. So now it's there. That is an actual map. Uh, th this is just a preview, but we can actually see it live. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go and publish this. Okay, so it has been uploaded. Let's just open it up. And it's still, let me refresh because it's still uploading all the images. And let's just scroll down. And there you go. We have the map here. Apparently I didn't center it to the actual site. I should have made it uh, centered here. Let me go back and tell you how it should have been done. I didn't do that. I should have actually centered with this guy. And that way it's always centered in the page. Uh, but yeah, but you get the idea. Over here, this is a fully functional map. You can just go around here and you see the address that I put. Pretty cool stuff. So that's it. Just an extra or an update that was just made this morning. Okay, so that's it. We're able to preview or design on the browser with different breakpoints, adding links and creating a form, all of that stuff. Now I have some uh, points to make. The actual code that it uh, creates, uh, it's not great. It could be better. Uh, it could be way better. Right now it's just uh, a lot of different classes for every element. So I don't think it, the performance is that great. If you don't really care about the code, probably then this is good for you. The timing on the exporting is massive. I, I wish I was able to just update a specific page or a specific artboard. But whenever I do that, if, even if it's a small change, I have to publish the whole thing. So I wish that was improved. Also on the styling, not all the styling is perfect, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be changed. This is just the first version of this plugin. Something else is about the pricing. They have a free version for a limited free website. The only thing is that, well, they have the Anima app branding, of course. 
because they want other people to get that app. And that that is great. The only thing is that probably the branding is a little bit too intrusive. And I get it also why it is intrusive because it's they want you to buy it. Um, <laughs> but probably it could be a little bit less intrusive. That's all. The premium pricing is it starts at nine dollars. Then after that, there's nineteen dollars for. Uh, three websites, $9 is for one website. And then after that, there's the uh, professional for teams and stuff like that. Just check it out. See if that's for you. If it is just probably landing pages for specific campaigns that you're not going to be updating a lot, that are just static pages, probably this is the perfect solution for you. You don't have probably the resources to work with developers who's someone that actually writes the code. Then probably this is a solution for you too. It, at least just for prototyping, just for testing your designs on the browser, this is the perfect tool for that, I think. This is great for that. And then after that, you can see if it is, if, if it's worth it to just publish it with your service and pu put your own domain and just use their hosting, then go for it. Okay, so by the way, I do have a, a coupon code. Just put a sketch dash together and you get a 20% on the first three months. So you can do that too. You can try that if if you think you, you wanna save a little bit of money. And that's it. I hope you liked the video. Leave any comments uh, about what do you think about this plugin? Are there any other tools that you wanna share? Leave a link or a comment on the comment section. That's it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.